Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. My husband, <laughs> he only leave me alone. He's been coming through the back door. I literally had to go lock it. Now he's staring at me from the back kitchen window. But today I'm going to be sharing with you, we redid our whole back um, patio, got new furniture, updated some things, so we just put it together today. We also had someone come in and redo our whole front steps, so that looks absolutely beautiful. And then I am also sharing with you my garden. So just the start of it, how I planted everything, what I planted, it's like the baby stages of the garden because it's still super early, it's only May 3rd. So um, I have everything going. I have some plants still in the house. I have lettuce carrots and broccoli um, outside already planted in the garden but I just wanted to give you a little tour and show you how I did everything and my beautiful garden that was planted for me by or I should say made for me by my husband last year so I love it I love gardening I love growing my own vegetables I love everything about it so I will show you all of those three things but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you consider subscribing and joining my little family here on the internet. And so basically this video is just like an outside update. So <laughs> all of the updates and upgrades we have done on our home and it looks beautiful and I'm so excited. My back deck is like one of my absolute favorite places to be. It's the sun is always beats down on it. It's so beautiful out. Right now it's not so much. It's like gone from beautiful to chilly and sunny in a matter of like 15 minutes here. So welcome to Massachusetts. But without further ado, let's get started. So while Layton is tilling up the dirt that's already in there, I am just starting some seeds. I bought some plants and I also started a ton from seed this year. So my brother-in-law gave me these little like pods. It just helps them grow. So I had these two trays in the house for a while. I actually still have some in the house, but when you are watching this, it most of these are already planted in my garden. But we got all of those planted and then we just made sure we labeled everything so we know what they were obviously because it was seed we wouldn't know what they were once they started sprouting and then we add some fresh dirt in there and get to planting just getting all of our broccoli planted and now we are just starting our carrots. 
Last year I did way, way too many and I wasn't able to really get the size carrots that I wanted. They were super small. They were really good, but they were really small because even though I thinned them out a ton, I used so many seeds. I think I used a whole packet of seeds, which is just way too many. So I did it the right way and just kind of put them all in a row so that way I have two big rows of carrots. And Layton is just watering the broccoli. She was such a cute little helper and really did really well. Both of the kids love, love, love helping in the garden and picking the vegetables and all of that when they are ready. So this was how everything was after we planted everything. We planted strawberries, green beans, you name it. So now we are on to the back deck and Kevin is just getting everything cleaned off with the blower before we move everything around, which we moved this around a ton. Every little way we could have put the furniture, we tried it and it was so funny, but we ended up putting it, of course, back the first way that we put it originally, but he is so funny and <laughs> it's, he was such a big help and like, as you're watching this, like, I'm just standing behind him, like, he carried everything himself. I wasn't really much of a help. He really didn't need me to put down that last little corner, but thank God I was there. You came along, couldn't look away. Somehow you turned my life completely upside down. We're live from the back deck. I try to close my eyes, but then I hear you call. Yeah, your perfume that I still can sell. But every time. So this is the way we decided to keep everything. It just made the most sense and kept the umbrella right here. Um, so that protected it a little bit from the house because it gets super windy here. So everything looks really good. It would, you wouldn't really know that it wasn't a whole set except for like the rounded edges of the chairs. <coughs> All this pollen. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me shut the door. Hi, Macy. She loves to be out here. This deck is like a thousand degrees at all times. But um, other than the squared edges on the couch and the rounded edges on the chair, they look identical. So, and this table is like one of those fire pit tables. So when you lift it up, we have those blue stones in there, and it looks super, super pretty. That thing is a million degrees. We, those are the same pillows that we used last year. Um, they're like actually really ugly pillows from 
Ocean City job lot and I just bought covers for them. There was four, but I just have three on there. And then I bought these this year, this blue to match the blue on the couch cushions. So I love it and we just cover everything. So we have a huge couch cover and we put these cushions on top of here and then cover everything up. So they're just behind the chair right now, but usually we'll put them here or somewhere else. But then we have some flower planters over there, but I love it. This is literally like my favorite place to be in the entire house. These are the front steps. They look absolutely beautiful. They're covered in pollen, even though I just washed them all off. And I need something still to go right here in between that whiskey barrel and the little well there. So I'm, let me know if you have any ideas for right there. But I love the way everything came out. And I'm getting some new bushes to go in here. We're deciding what to do in there too. And we also just got our driveway repaved too so tons of home projects and home updates we've been seeing a bird fly into this wreath like every single day and i'm like oh my god i must be taking pieces of this wreath to build a nest so i moved it and it's building a nest right there which is so cute and so cool however i don't want birds flying in my house or if someone shuts this door and there's eggs in here, it's going to break. So I have to figure out how to move it and where to move it. So that sounds like a job for Kevin, not for me. <laughs> Stop.